As a civil engineering student, U of M junior Rachel Galky is no stranger to working long hours on a project. It's been over a hundred, I would say. More than 100 hours piecing together tiny trusses, painting miniature girders, and putting the final touches on a replica of the 35W bridge that collapsed into the Mississippi River in August 2007. Usually you don't get to do stuff like this. It's um, definitely a different type of project. To say the least, most students hand in homework projects for a letter grade. The bridge that Galky has completed will be sent to the National Transportation Safety Board where it will be used by engineers to help them answer questions related to the bridge collapse. The NTSB sought the University of Minnesota's help in making the model because of the faculty and students' familiarity with the bridge. I think the bridge that Rachel built is incredible and I think it, it'll exceed what they were thinking of when they asked us to do it. Civil engineering professor Carol Shield says the model has been a valuable experience for Galky that has allowed her to apply classroom learning to solving real-world problems. I usually work in a structures lab where I get to build like bigger things and no, I didn't know anything like this would ever come up. The finished project will now be shipped to Washington, D.C., where it will help investigators piece together the mystery of why the real version of this model fell into the river. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.